Spoiler alert. First of all, let's say hi to Bo. Hi Bo. I am in a, um, take three. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today instead of cooking something, I thought that I would show you how I organize my recipes. I use the term organize very loosely. If you are a type one, color coordinated, all the cans in your pantry are facing the same direction, it may in fact induce a panic attack. If you're just someone who likes to cook, who has recipes everywhere, and you don't know what to do with them, and you never can find them, I think you might like my method. Usually when I want to make something, I will Google the recipe, and then I would try to save them, but I could never find them when I wanted to go back to them. It didn't work for me when I was like, what should I cook for dinner tonight? to try and go back through. So here's something that I do, and I think it might work for you. Hello. That's all you get. Also, I hate to follow a recipe from my phone. I know they make like really cool iPad easels so you can cook from your iPad. I don't like it. So we have a cheap little inkjet printer at our house that we use primarily for kids projects or school papers or, but also it mostly gets used for printing recipes. Then what happened? What I did is if my family likes the meal, then I go back after the dishes are done and I take the recipe and I make notes. So like I'll scratch out the things that I didn't put in. I'll list the things that I did put in or if I doubled something or different, um, measurements that I use. I'll make my notes and then I will put it in this fancy notebook. There's sloth coupons here that Abby made. Abby just told me the other day that these coupons are expired. I've got dividers. On my dividers I have meals, sides, dessert, breakfast, Whole30, and then I have a keto tab and I have a recipes to try tab. If a recipe went good, I will hole punch, write my notes on it, hole punch it, and stick it in this little beautiful book. Let's see if I can make this to where you can see. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Here's some different recipes, totally random. Just make little notes. The way that I like to organize my cookbooks is if I make a recipe out of a cookbook, I try to bookmark it so that I can go find it. Things I write in my cookbooks. I love this one, the cake doctor. It's super old. I stole it from my mom. This is one of my favorite cooking cookbooks the Defined Dish, and um, it's Alex Snodgrass. Alex, if you ever wanna come cook with me, I would love that. I just mark the recipes that I like or that I wanna try, and then when I'm trying to get ideas of what I wanna cook, I might just be able to thumb through that or thumb through my notebook. I don't know if this was helpful. I don't know how you organize your recipes. Maybe let me know in the comments how you like to do it. Um, how organized are you on a scale of one to 10 with your recipes? Um, I'd be so curious to see all of that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, let me know, make sure you subscribe, and um, share it with somebody who you think needs help organizing their recipes. And that's all I got for today. Hope this was helpful, I'll see you next time.